Hello everyone, my name is Koi Fish. You might have seen some of my other videos where I teach you how to become the most powerful crime lord in banner lore, or how to survive the medieval ages, or maybe even how to time travel. But today, I'm gonna teach you something completely different. You see, there are two types of people in this world. There are the people who make money and the suckers. And I don't wanna be a sucker anymore. I want to make money. I want the coolest horses in the stable. I want the fairest maiden coming to my feasts. And I want the biggest castle so I can flex it up and die. I want it all. And the key to getting it all? The Nars. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to become the richest man in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. That's right everyone, no longer shall you have to look at an item in the shop and say Oh gee golly me, I wish I could afford that. No oh, no, you can afford it, once you follow this epic money guide. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh. Talking about money, if you happen to have any extra lying about, that's really uncomfortable. Like, oh god, why is my wallet so big and uncomfortable? Then you can go over to freshmerch.fm slash koifish and get yourself a super cool koifish hoodie or a t-shirt or a cap. Check out the designs, I especially like the viking longboat. Get it while it's out, very cool, support the channel. Now let's get into it. It is time to select our character's culture. We need to make shit tons of money. That means we can't go with Batanians, as Batania has no concept of monetary value. Can I have that gold, sir? Why, yes, you can. Do you have anything to offer in return? Good advice? Oh, yeah, sure. Don't eat yellow snow. It might be beer, but you don't want to take the risks. What the fuck is snow? Or we could go with the Sturgeons. The less penalty from snow is very useful if you run a ski resort. The Sturgeon ski resorts are raking in money, but no, we could go with the Empire. Those people sure know how to run stuff, especially since they split up into three parts because they failed a merger. Very, very bad business. So we are gonna go with the most business-minded people in the world. Oh yeah, baby, we are going with the Asurai. The 30% cheaper build with caravans? Amazing. You can have more camels out there than anyone else. But what we're really after is the fact that the Asurai completely ignore taxes. Tax fraud? Yes, please. The Asurai has not paid taxes in 15 years. Very cool. I happen to know a few Asurai that don't pay taxes. I'm looking at you. Miss Koifish. Yes. What do you think about taxes? Good. Wrong! Taxation is theft! I wanna keep everything! And have the roads look like they do in Romania. Let's go with the Aserai. Now, <laughs> talking about businesses, this guy looks like he's about to open a pizza place at any moment. Somebody stop him before he starts selling Döner Kebab! God bless the people who open pizza shops though. You wanna go to McDonald's when you're drunk? Fuck McDonald's! Give me a kebab pizza! Now! Let's select our gender. Well, it's widely known that women earn 33% less than men. Look at me, I'm, I'm being pe I'm being SJW, look, Jesus Christ, thicker than a sneaker. We're of course gonna go with men. Men earn more than women. And I'm not here to argue with facts, I just want to make more money. We get to select our skin color. While skin color has nothing to do with earnings, we're gonna go with this guy. As he looks like he can afford a trip to the sunny place. And oh boy, he has a tab. Very, very cool. There has been countless studies done at the Bullshit University in France. That yoke was so good that Miss Coyfish. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up my yoke, Miss Coyfish! Sorry. <laughs> okay, most important person left anyways, let's go. That says there is a big correlation between high high pitched voices and how much money you make. If you have a very low pitched voice, like this, Climb up! then you earn less, as you're most likely working construction. But if your voice is high, make a circle! That means that you have the balls. Balls! Testosterone! Money! Facts! That's all I need to say. But the uh, height, the bullshit university in France could not find any correlation between heights. So we're gonna go with a very short person, as you can then buy your clothes in kid sizes, which is a lot cheaper. But I'm not done yet. Like uh, Billy May said before he died of a heart attack. How did Billy May die? I don't know. Rest in peace. He already looks like a pizza baker. But there are some facial features that is shown to have a correlation between what you look like and how much money you can earn. Very cool. We need a haircut. A haircut that just screams, I am professional, please give me money. The most cheapest haircut to maintain 
It's either being bald or a bald cat. The bald cat is a bit of a risky move. And I don't want to infringe on Thomas Heath's copyright on the bald cat. If you don't know who Thomas Heath is, check the video, link on screen now. It is the how to become the criminal mastermind. But we're not gonna do any crime in this let's play. No crime whatsoever. So let's go with a professional hairstyle. We're gonna need facial hair. While we could look like a goat, that also kind of makes us look like a goat, which is not good. Well, who the fuck is this guy? Is this, is this Mario? Ba 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 ba! Bo ah, money! Money! Ah, 80s police officer! Here we go. He can earn in the dollars. My dad is black. Gives me an N-word pass. Very cool. Why, my mom looks... Oh god. Is that... She looks like uh, Elon Musk's wife. Very cool. We get to select our background. We could go with the kinfolk of Anemir. To be highly positioned. And then just rake in the benefits of being royalty. But no. We are true... Asurai Dreamers. They were urban merchants. That gives us very high trade skill. Perfect start for a tradesman like us. And in my early childhood, look at me! <laughs> I had a very good aptitude for numbers. I could count to 11. One number higher than most kids in my age. Talking about numbers. If you can't tell me quick what 11 times 11 is, you're stupid. Hey, honestly, try it. What is 11 times 11? You're wrong. It's... I don't know either. What is it? Miss Koi Fish? What is it? 121? What? What is 11 times 11, Miss Koi Fish? Uh, You're stupid! 200 and... 200? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh you... 121? Yes. After Google. She had to Google it. But not me, as I have an aptitude for numbers. It is... <laughs> Let's go! In my adolescence, I spent my times in the markets and the caravansi race. I bought an apple from Mr. Steven, the Asurai apple merchant, and then I sold it to Miss Stefanus, the town fool, for twice the price. And I invested that into chickens. Chicken investor! Very cool. More trade skills. And as a youth, I had to join the army. I hung around with the troops' wives, their lovers and their servants, and I sold. That's right. Chicken! I started the KFC. Calradia fried chicken. And I sold the finest of chicken. I had 15 herbs and spices. I don't think there exists more than that. I think, I only think KFC is bullshitting us. So let's go. And my biggest adventure was that I invested money into a workshop. This workshop produced the finest of fryers. And I called myself Fryer Tuck. A hilarious play of words as I fry chicken. But I was also heavily involved with a free church. Very cool. And as me... And Luigi, I mean my brother. Our parents were killed and our two young siblings seized. We organized the travelers to help them break them out. We went to an inn and told them, There are some bastards who took our sisters and my brother. And if you take them out, well, I'll pay you a hot pocket. That's right. One hot pocket you can share it. We have a very good start. Very high social. Almost incredible trading skill right from the get-go. Our name, despite our Azerai appearance, our real name is actually Gregory. Gregory Reed. Very cool. Gregory Reed. It is time for us to select a banner. A banner for an upstart company. We want something that makes us look like we've been established. A name that makes us sound like we've been here since the Caradia was founded. Everyone knows that the silly dog it might also be a lamb. It's a very good choice. In these colors. As it looks absolutely disgusting. Ew! Ew! Design is one of my biggest passions in life. I'm, I'm, I'm almost wanting to go with this just to piss people off. But no. Now we could go with the skin. Something that shows, hello, we are fair traders. We could go with a picture of my accountant. Very, very cool. His name is Greg. Reverse Bansai! Or we could go with this. Is this the fucking flag of Somalia? Salam alaikum, my Somalian viewers. Hope you're doing well on your pirate ship. Yeehaw! We're instead gonna go with this. That is the candelabra. And that is light. It has four candles. Success. Money. Acquisition. Trade. Very cool. Also, high five my dudes. <laughs> very, very cool. This is the symbol of trade. We're ready to start. Let's see what we have in stock so far. Only the finest of equipment. Two whole grains and 1,000 dinars. A small loan of 1,000 dinars to start my upstart company. We are currently here in the empire. And I think there are a lot of suckers we can help take money from. But let's go to this village. Very cool. We are at the pub. 
Hello there, gentlemen. Oh, he's shredding my favorite song. Anyways, I have been thinking. Yes, what is it? According to my statistics, almost half of the people who watch Koi Fish videos aren't subscribed. Oh, that's a bit stupid. Yeah, I agree. Well, that means that they should totally subscribe if they're watching it right now. Yes, and also, they should have a good day because they deserve it. What are you two talking about, huh? It sounds very reasonable. Taurus the Boot. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I, I don't think uh, I'm into that sort of stuff. But uh, you probably find someone and their wife that you can dominate. Very cool. All right, my dude. Tavern Keeper. Give me the scoop. Nobody's looking for help right now. Well, that just means we'll have to find it ourselves. Let's go buy some goods. Welcome to the trade district. We don't want to buy any weapons. We are a trader of the finest of stuff. We want to buy oil at a very favorable price here. We bought 10 oil. Who really needs oil but can't get it? It is obviously the Vlandians. They have tanks that they need to fuel with the oil. But they don't have any oil. God damn it, why are we so slow? I bought too much oil. Shit, I should not have packed the horse so full of the oil. Let's go to Fasos. I need to buy more horses. Mules. Perfect. I call my mules Barnes and Nobles. Because one is noble and one was from a barn. Very cool. All right, Gregory Reed. You need to go sell that stuff right now before you get ambushed. And I don't want to get ambushed. God damn, this game is beautiful. And they really added a lot of stuff. Tailworld. I'm proud of you. You should totally sponsor one of my videos. Here we are in Sargot. Looks like the economical situation here is kinda bad. Two men running at each other with big swords. Let's head into the city before something bad happens, huh? We go to the trade district and we can sell- Ah, that is a significant loss! Coinfish, I thought you were good at this. Well, shit. Borderline catastrophe. Gregory Reed did not count correctly. Let's go here. Let's try to sell this to these guys, huh? Off we go. I wish to sell to Pen Kadok. Hello, sirs. You might need some oil. It's very late. Ah, no. It's still a very bad investment. I invested too much into the oil business and I'm gonna go broke. Shit. One more try to Dunglanus. Dunglanus, they actually drink the oil. They haven't, they haven't realized you can use it in lamps. Come on. We have to sell it here. 46. No! That's terrible! Fuck it! Last ditch attempt! We are going all the way to the veal, okay? The Sturgeons must pay premium for this oil, as it's been imported very far away. Also, character! Perfect! Wholesaler! I sell it whole. Ah, very cool. Let's get the old charm up. And in we go. 83! Profit! We have made profit, my dudes. But a real smart man would not you sell. He also invests. What here do you sell cheaply, huh? Fish. We can sell this in Sargot for 20. As much fish as you let me, huh? We have acquired a lot of fish. Let's travel to Sargot before this spoils. Our caravan might smell like the city of Bristol. But goddamn, we have to get these 45 cases of fish. To Sargov. They're having a fish and ship night. Half off of beers. No, they have smelled the fish. That means we have to go on water. There we go. Stop it, you looters. You won't take my fish. I'll defend my fish with my life. Sargov, I'm coming. Help. Sargov guards, open the gates. The fish sells for 22! Now that, my dudes, is some cool ass profit. We cannot use settle. What do you sell, sheepy, huh? We can sell this in Warcheck. That gives us a little net profit. You might just wanna go and say, Hey, I wanna spend this! But don't. We need to invest in more Muse. Trading Simulator 2000. Oh god! If it isn't the Hammington brothers. Steve Hammington, Jacob Hammington, and Hamming Hammington. You bastards, huh? You think you can take our stuff? Fight me, you pussies! All right, my dudes, follow me. You take your pointy sticks, and I'll take mine. Look at this trick, huh? I'll fan them away. Take him out! Come on, you bastards! Charge! Get him! Eat their asses! I mean, beat their asses! Don't eat their asses! Don't! Don't follow my orders on that one! Smack him! Smack him dead! Chase them away! Stick him with the pointy end! Don't you take my fish! Oh, stick! That was a warning! I see a business opportunity! And it- you! I want to invest in your future! I want to give you education! I'm joking! I'm gonna enslave you! <laughs> Into the salt mines! Very good! Victory! All in the profit margins, my dude. All in the profit margins. Ooh, profit! I want to buy as much beer as I possibly can. Very, very cool. Now to Varsheg we go. The life of an honest merchant, huh? 
I cannot pay the wages. You are interns. That is what you are. Interns. I'll pay you in exposure, okay? I'll, sh I'll give you shoutouts. That's fine, okay? Good. We have a beer and ore to sell. They tricked us. This beer does not sell for that. We sell it anyways. We need the money. But the iron ore, yes. This is where the profit margins come in. Wholesale on clothing items, very cool. We are gonna buy all the fish they have. Invest in fish. Do you ever feel like your diet is missing something? Do you also suffer from deficiency of omega-3 and other healthy oils? Well, wait no further than to buy Gregory Reed's finest fish. Imported all the way from Varshek down to you in Sargo. What does it taste like? Fish. Does it smell like fish? Then it might just be Gregory Reed's fish. By now. Very, very cool. Now we just have the board seeing the fish jingle. Fish is good, fish is good. Please come buy my fish. Very good. I think that really gets the message across. We want them to buy a lot of fish. Profit margin is not huge, but uh, the babes are back, everyone. Let's go. With that done, I think we deserve some rest. Let's go into Sargov, huh? Ah, god man, you are rocking out. You see these dance skills, my dude? I learned this when I sold fish from Varshig just a few days ago. Your moves are legendary. Please, let me buy you an ale. Tavern Keeper, there is a man. He danced like a god. He's behind me. Please, buy him. Thank you. A pottery shop? I think I'll go visit. Maybe I'll pick up a pot or something. Hello there, shop worker. I would like to buy this workshop. 14k? No, god. I can't afford that. This town, it is strange. The beer tastes funny. The women look like men. And the men, they look like goats. Who are you then? Leotold. Gregory Reed. Yes, I, I, do I know you? Hey, I see that you sell fish on the market, eh? You get that from where? You get it from Warcheck? How much are you earning of that, huh? You get like uh, 1k? 2k? Yeah, I mean, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, have you ever heard of caravans? Caravans? Yeah, caravans, you know. You can make money on that? I thought that was just for like- Nah, nah, you make, you make a lot like, yeah. How much do you think we can make in an hour, yeah? Maybe like, yeah, 15k? 15k? I mean, well, you see, we call up the clients. We, 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 we say, oh, you can earn so much money. And then we just dump worthless wares on them. Isn't that illegal? I mean, money. Say no more, I mean. But to do this, I need to talk to some of my hometown boys. You see? I have friends in many places. Friends that are really good at selling stuff. Remold the shark. Is that your woman? You got the, the little baby boy. Oh, shit, sorry. She's just fat. Remold, my dude. How are you doing? You see, Riamald was the type of guy who sold stuff. He sold pretty much anything he could get his hands on. A dog? Yes, he sold that. A cat? Yes, he sold that. Now I make him sound like he's owner of a pet shop, but he also sold a lot of stuff, but mainly weed. Oh, we're gonna hire him. With the help from Reman the bastard, Reman the shark as we call him, as he loved sharks. For him, shark week is every week. We managed to get enough money to talk to Avigos the appraiser, named so, because he always rated people from one to 10 when he saw them. Me, I was a solid seven. Eight on a good day. I wish to form a caravan. Rebal the shark shall lead this caravan. Now, let's make some- Is that watermelon? God damn it, woman, you have the- Oh, that's a man. That is a- that's a grown-ass man. I'm sorry, man. Dude, this massage is absolutely killer. Oh, can I have this watermelon? Thank you. Jesus, she got the wobbly arms. Wobbly arm. Ah! Cthulhu, run! We are making mad bank from his caravan. We're gonna make a lot of money this way. Ever since I started investing in caravans, I've made a lot of money. <sighs> Keep playing that song. You see, we did a little bit of sneaky trading. Erdham the shark, he didn't just take a caravan. He took the caravan and sent it over to the Batanians. As I told you in the beginning, the Batanians have no concept of money. He skinned the Batanians and... I'm having a cool game monologue here. You really wanna mess with a guy that has three fucking sabers? One, two... Three, one for every day of the week. I can't count the days of the week. You really wanna mess with me? Thank you, you sit here, old man. The shark is sent to King Caladog. You have a lot of gold there and you can trade it with me? And he was like, ah, what do I get in return? And the shark said, a hug. So that's how we acquired all the wealth of the Batanians. And with that, we further invested. I own a workshop in every damn city of Calradia. I, once again, a man that has not only one, but two, Three sabers, huh? Are you gonna mess with me, old man? One day earn more than your rent. Your mom still live in a tent. Ah! I'll go to my house and do the fucking monologue then. You guys are annoying. Ah, here we are. I know it's a bit small, but hey, 
Rent is extremely high here in the Empire. And this studio castle apartment with the slightly extended roof, that's all I can afford right now. But as soon as we scam the other people in the battalions, literally nothing can stop me. And one, two, three sabers, you see? The Nars is the most powerful thing in the world. It can buy you better horses, better sabers, better thieves, better ladies, and most importantly, more than ours. Excuse me, friends, but I have a very important meeting, you see? I'm gonna meet with the shark. We have started a new sting operation. We're gonna skim the sturgeons for everything they have. Selling fish is small fish for me right now. I moved up. We be scamming the lords. I have to meet with the shark in an alley. He's hired a sturgeon that will help us scam the sturgeon leader. Excuse me, ladies. I have three sabers. Please let me go. Wait, is that a tax book? You yeah. Stop. I'm not who you think it is. No. You scammed Caledog. He's a battalion. How could you? They're technically mentally disabled. You got the wrong person, I promise. We are with the Calradia Tax Collecting Agency. You have not been paying taxes since you started. We have a warrant out for your arrest. We are to arrest you for 15,000 counts of tax fraud. One charge of fraud against a mentally disabled battalion. What do you say in your defense? Who the hell ratted me out? You'll never catch me alive! Run! Ah! I have three sabers, take one! Ah. No! No, you never take me! Who ratted me out, huh? Ah! God damn it! Turns out, fucking Riamal got himself busted by the tax collectors over in Varche. And can you guess who he had with him? The fucking insider informant that he used to scam the battalions. I can't fucking believe it! The battalions! They used to follow the lead and ratted me out. They're literally standing next to the agent of the tax collectors. The legendary tax collector herself, Penny Penny. The woman that would literally count down to every penny in your debt you had to the tax agency. And the worst part, they didn't even get busted for the thing I did. It was Riemann's fault that they got the agency after them. You see, Riemann the Shark had been doing some side wheeling business involving horse racing and illegal watermelon smuggling. Illegal watermelon smuggling. Illegal watermelon smuggling. What the fuck? Why would have been taken down by illegal fucking watermelon smuggling? That is absolutely fucked. No, I find myself in jail. And I won't lie, I was terrified, but then I figure out, I still have shitloads of money. <sighs> I must escape. You see, this guard is not actually a real guard. He is indeed a hired blade. Here, you get paid in one saber. Very good. Ah! I had to move quickly. You the horse trader, take this saber as payment. Freedom! Freedom! And I rode. I rode as far as I could ride. I rode all the way to my home village, to Belis, with only the shield and one saber left. I guess my name was Gregory One Saber. But I had returned to my hometown a hero. I was rich. As I walked through the streets of my old hometown, I noticed something in the corner. Is that a chicken? I remember when I was younger. I started my fortune by selling chickens. I'm gonna start a new life. I'll sell this shield and sword, and I'll buy as many chickens as I can. I shall become the chicken baron. Being the most rich man doesn't always mean that you have the most denars. Being rich is much, much more. It's about living a life with purpose, doing something you love. I might not have the most denars, and I may only have a leopard skin and a headdress that's meant for a woman, but what I do have are riches. Riches beyond any than ours, any plated horse, or any fine lady. I have freedom, and I have chickens, and I have a pitchfork, and I have a friend. Mashallah, my brother! I am so happy to be reunited with you once more. Yes, let us toil. Perhaps the riches we sought for in the end were the friends we made along the way. And that, my friends, is the end of this story. I hope you liked it, and if you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. I love making these stupid funny stories for you guys, so if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and like this video. And tell me down below, in the comments, what you would like to see me attempt to do next. This has been Koifish, and until next time, stay awesome guys. Yeet! Oh.